A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 16, verses 24 to 28. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Then Jesus went to work on his disciples. Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I'll show you how. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, to finding yourself, your true self. What kind of deal is it to get everything you want but lose yourself? What could you ever trade your soul for? Don't be in such a hurry to go into business for yourself. Before you know it, the Son of Man will arrive with all the splendor of his Father, accompanied by an army of angels. You'll get everything you have coming to you, a personal gift. This isn't pie in the sky, by and by. Some of you standing here are going to see it take place. See the Son of Man in kingdom glory. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. This is Coffee with God. Let us listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 to 28. Follow me. Peter professed his faith in Jesus as the Messiah, but when he heard his master speaking of suffering and death, he wanted to dissuade Jesus from going ahead with the possibility. Jesus performed an exorcism on Peter, saying, Get behind me, Satan. After this incident, Jesus elaborates on the requirements for following him. He presents three specific expectations for anyone who decides to follow him, renounce yourself, carry your cross, and follow me. Denying yourself means stopping to think about yourself. It involves going against the usual principles that guide interpersonal interactions. The disciple of Christ is called to give up any personal ambitions. Even our good works or acts of charity shall not be to accumulate merits in heaven. Jesus calls us to love freely, in pure loss, as does the Father. The second command, carry your cross, does not suggest enduring life's challenges and difficulties, whether they are significant or minor. The cross does not signify suffering in order to appease God. Instead, it represents love and utter selflessness. To bear your cross means to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, loving unconditionally, doing good, and bringing joy to others. The third imperative, follow me, means to share the choices of Jesus, take part in his project, and to bet your life on love. We permit the cross displayed on the wall in our homes or the cross we wear as a symbol of our desire to be connected with Christ while lovingly caring for our fellow human beings, particularly the most vulnerable and smallest among us. As a result, if we want to be his disciples, we are called to imitate him, expanding our life without any reservations, out of love of God and neighbor.